The following story contains adult themes and depictions of violence and trauma. This podcast is not for children. Please be advised. Captain, are you all right? I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes, I'm positive. After His Royal Highness walked off with the Kimuras, I couldn't help but feel tense. It's plausible for me to feel this way, right? Everyone else here is doing fine. Kuro's chatting up the occasional maid. Riley's patrolling the main stairs. Kisume is patrolling around the main floor. Catalina's wowing the guests with her abilities. Seren's guarding the castle entrance. Jacob's talking to anyone he can see. Leah's patrolling the garden. Wait. Where's Katayan? I don't know. Where is he? He? His Royal Highness. What? Oh, Goddess. Where's His Royal Highness? Don't panic. He should be fine. Maybe Kitain went to look for him. How could she know that he's missing? She's very observant. <sighs> I'm going to go look for him. Captain. He's not a child. Let him enjoy his birthday. He's right. I shouldn't just ruin his evening because he wants to be alone. It's his birthday. He can spend it how he wishes. <laughs> Is everything all right? How's the party? <laughs> it's been pretty awful. Would you like to come in? It's a lot more comfortable than the floor. Yes, I like that. Please, keep it. I don't mind if it gets ruined. Thank you. It's never a problem, dear. Do you need a mirror? No. I'm alright. You're quite stunning tonight, really, yeah. Thank you. Did you like it? What? The outfit. Yes, I, I do. Thank you. I picked it out for you. Y you did? Yes. You did an amazing job. I've never looked this beautiful before. That's not true. You look beautiful every day. Uh, oh, sorry. Did I say something strange? N no you didn't. Do you mind if I... I don't mind, but... What is that? Want me to demonstrate? Yes. <sighs> is it a smoking pipe? It's... something like it. Can I try it? Are you sure? 
It's a lot stronger than what people normally smoke here. It doesn't hurt to try. All right. Just don't hurt yourself. Breathe in and push it out. Wait, don't let it take... <coughs> Breathe slowly, dear. Here, drink this. It's not water, but it's better than nothing. Are you alright? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I guess smoking just isn't for me. <laughs> what was in the glass? Champagne. Oh. Do you have any more? Of course I do. It's my ball, after all. The sky. It's beautiful, isn't it? It is. This must be a beautiful sight each night. I wouldn't particularly know. I don't really look outside here. Oh. But a sight like this is rare. Almost refreshing. It is. Do you enjoy the nights here? I normally can't. I'm too busy to really stop and enjoy things. What do you do, exactly? Pardon? I mean, I see you working all the time, but you're just a prince. What are you doing? <sighs> I take over the kingdom in my father's place. I run the castle its staff, and the kingdom's economy. I control trade, imports, and outlying cities and villages owned by DuPont. Shouldn't there be people to take care of those kinds of things? <laughs> there are. My father decided to take them with him. <laughs> uh, you know, dear, you can laugh. I won't get mad. You promise? I promise. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you do for fun? For fun? Yeah, like, in your free time. I don't really have much free time to do anything recreational. I have a hard time believing that all you do is work. Well, I have a few hobbies. Like what? I occasionally play piano. I started learning ever since I was four. Piano really helped me escape from my studies. And I got really good at it. Can I hear you play one day? Uh, of course. I'm a bit rusty, but I'd love to play it for you one day. <laughs> So, your royal highness, do you know how to dance? I do. It was a part of my studies when I was younger. Please, allow me. I like dancing, but I'm not too great at it. That's not true. No, no. Trust me, I am. I don't know all those fancy ballroom dances that you know. You just haven't had someone to teach you, that's all. <laughs> when I first started, I thought I had two left feet. My instructor kept insisting that I keep going until I'd pass out. And I did eventually. It's just one of those things that gets better with time. So what dances do you know? The ones I had to learn were waltzes and ballroom dances. 
However, I did go out of my way to learn how to tango. Are you alright, mademoiselle? Mm-hmm. What? Oh, oh, I'm, I'm quite alright. I just really enjoy hearing your voice. Oh? Do you now? I do. So, really, Anne, what happened? Hmm? You seemed upset when I found you. Oh, right. I just want to make sure that you're okay. I've finally gotten the closure that I've been looking for, but I didn't realize how much it would actually hurt. Closure? With Jacob. You'd think with the amount of time he's been avoiding me, I would have gotten over it so quickly. I wore my heart on my sleeve, and in the end, I just made things worse for everyone. The ring. Did he give that to you? He promised, but it was false. I was too blind to see it. I was the problem all along. There was no other reason for it. I should have let go when I had the chance, but I just couldn't because I I'm weak. Really, Anne, I- Same. Please help me up. Mademoiselle? Very well. Do you need any help? The light between thine eyes shine with utmost glory. For fear we reign and for fear we pray. From our hearts we shall be protected lest our feeble wars be neglected. Upon our split, please let us part, for the two of us. We have different hearts. From, From the, the end, end of this, this day, day until, until the break, the break of, dawn, of dawn, in and in your name, let, let us, us be gone. gone. Rillianne. Rillianne. Look. Oh my. The first snow. Rillianne, we should have- Zane. Mademoiselle? Will you dance with me? I can't deny an offer like that. M'accordez-vous ces danse? Oui. This, right? Yes, you are doing it perfectly. Zane! It's okay. I won't let you fall. Let's continue inside, shall we? Can we stay like this? Close? Please, just in case I fall. It's been a long time since I felt this way. When was the last time you felt like this? This might sound strange, but before I came here... I feel a sense of deja vu, like I've been in this exact moment before. You look just like him. Who do I look like, dear? At the courtship. I danced with a man just like this. Dark curls, pale skin within the moon's lights. Eyes, eyes that resemble fireflies in a midsummer night. That's quite an adorable way to describe me, dear. I'm serious. I feel like I've used Jacob as a replacement for him. To feel that kind of joy once more. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have roped you into this. No, no. I'm here for you, really, Ann. I, I just... Hey, hey. Look at me. I just... I wish I could find that man again. 
I didn't even catch his name. I'm in love with a mystery, a phantom. You're right in front of him, Rillian. His name is Zane DeMonte. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to- It was you all along? Yes, it was. Listen, I I'm, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have stepped over that kind of line. I should have asked you- I never realized that you were right in front of me. Really, Anne. I have a confession to make. I don't know how to say these types of things, because I've never experienced something like this before. I think I'm in love with you. You've captured my heart, really, Anne Devon. I'm glad you feel that way about me. I, I feel the s same. Really, Anne? Are you alright? Do you need- Please don't look! <sighs> Let me help at least, dear. Oh dear. Are you alright? <coughs> uh, uh, oh, goddess. Had too much to drink? A little. Are you cold? Just a little. Here. Are you sure? It's cold out. I don't want you to catch a cold. I should escort you to your room. It's getting quite late, dear. I'm feeling lightheaded. I wouldn't mind at all. Zane, will you stay with me for a little while longer? Of course, dear. Anything for you. Is there anything you want me to do, dear? Can you play the piano? Just for me? Is there any song you have in mind, really, Anne? Any? I just want to hear you play.
Mademoiselle, you really changed the atmosphere of my night. I have a hard time saying these types of things out loud. But I wanted to thank you. You've really changed my life, really, yet. One could say that you have me wrapped around your finger. You're so different compared to everyone else. I've never met anyone else within my 27 years of living that is as sweet and beautiful as you. Thank you for making my 27th birthday memorable for me. I'll never forget this for as long as I live. I bid you adieu, mademoiselle. Rest well, dear. I love you. Well, I expected this to be out by now. Happy birthday to me. Hey there! Episode's not over yet, I just didn't want to interrupt you. Seemed like you were kind of in the moment, so I waited, but I'm going to say my piece and then I'll let you guys get back to it. Because we finally made it, guys. It is the Act 1 finale of He Who Forsakes the Crown. So excited to actually bring it to you. We've been waiting for this moment for a while. It's really mind-boggling to think that we actually got here. So I'm going to tell you guys what's going on with the rest of it. So made a decision, Confessions of the Castle, the uh, after show that we were talking about, that's actually going to be going up on January 4th, and that's going to be our episode for the month of January. So we are taking a slight break, skipping a month, just so we can get back on track. We want to make sure everything's like nice and shiny for Act 2 because Act 2 is wild and I promise you that. So also, please send in some questions for Confessions of the Castle. I have a post on our Instagram and also a tweet on our Twitter. We're not very active, so they're pretty easy to find. You can comment on those. Also, I forget what we're on YouTube. If you listen on YouTube, you can comment on the video. Find that too. Or you can straight up just DM us if you want to make sure we find it. But please, please, please ask your questions. I want to hear from you guys. It's really, like, amazing to think that there are actual people listening out there because I kind of forget. And then every once in a while, I'll get, like, a message from, like, one random listener. And literally, my heart will go, like, oh, I'm rambling. But yeah, please, any questions you want. They can be the stupidest questions ever. We want to talk to you guys. We want to interact with you guys. It's going to be fun. We want to make it fun. So questions, they can be stupid questions. But yeah, please do that. That's going up January 4th. Also, the 25th, still have that bonus episode coming out. I'm excited for it, guys. It's, it's a real kicker. And I guess that's all I really have to say. Uh, if you haven't already, please follow us on social media. That's Chapter 15 Studios on Instagram, Tumblr, TikTok, and then CH15 Studios on Twitter. Check out our website, www.chapter15studios.com. Most of this information is also in the episode bio. Please just check us out, support us. We love hearing from you guys, and it like makes my heart warm every time. Thank you so much for sticking around with us. Episode's not over. I'm going to let you guys wrap it up, and you guys will see me again on the 25th. When I finally awoke the next morning, I had a throbbing headache. My mouth was dry and my stomach lurched. 
<clears throat> this is horrible. I haven't felt this bad in years. In the mirror, I can see myself still in the dress I wore last night. My eyes are swollen and my makeup smudged. Why am I wearing a jacket? This is... Zane's, isn't it? How did I get this? Last night. Jacob, oh my goddess. The way he looked at me with such pain in those crystalline blue eyes. Eyes like winter in the sky. What did I do with my ring? A note. Dearest Rillianne, I wanted to thank you for attending my birthday ball. Spending time with you truly was the highlight of my night. Please feel free to stay as a guest in the castle until the end of the year. I hope that you find the rest of your year pleasant and enjoyable. I have no doubt that I will be seeing you soon. Yours truly, Zane Elijah DeMonte. I don't exactly remember the details of my dreams, but I could only assume that they were of her. Of my fingers running through her hair, of her sapphire eyes and red lips, her contagious laugh. I never expected the events of last night to occur the way they did. She had reciprocated my feelings. However, I know I shouldn't be too hasty with my actions. It was late last night. We were intoxicated. The ambiance and romanticism of a ball could have coaxed her into words she wouldn't have said under other circumstances. I'll take a walk. It'll clear my head. The last three days of the year were regarded as a holiday break. Staff is preparing for the festivities that come with the new year. Others stay at home with their family. I was to stay here. As I always do. <sighs> Another year is going to pass. Another year of ruling this kingdom in the absence of my father. Another year of being his pawn. He isn't even here, and yet I follow his rules. My mother spends another year locked in that tower. My sister... Another year without her. I finally found you. She stands behind me, with that same smile on her face. Her cheeks and nose are red from the cold. A woolen cloak wrapped around her. I can see one of her emerald earrings peek out from behind her hair. She makes my heart race like nobody else. Good morning. Did you sleep well? <laughs> I slept like a baby. Thank you. For inviting me to the ball, I mean. It was gorgeous. I had never been to a party as elegant as this. Thank you for uh, attending. You made the night much more entertaining. You did the same. I think. You don't remember last night? I remember some things. We danced, didn't we? Yes, we did dance. Oh, goddess. Did I throw up on you? <laughs> you, you didn't throw up on me, to be exact. Still, that's really embarrassing. I must have made you so uncomfortable. I don't think it was that bad. Well, that's comforting, then. To be honest... I don't remember much of last night either. So do you have any particular goals for the new year? I'm not so sure. I suppose I should hope to find my brother soon. Don't you have any goals for yourself? Well, I think that I'm in a good place right now. I make a living, I have a place to stay. 
Finding Elliot, it's what my mother and father want me to do. I want to follow their wishes. What about you? What are your plans for the new year? I don't think I have any. What do you mean? Every year seems the same for me. All I do is work. Then I suppose that we can work on making goals together. Yes, uh, I'd like that. The mundane feeling of my day-to-day -day routine slowly felt less tiring. Really, Anne was a breath of fresh air in the stuffy castle lifestyle. Her kindness was incomparable to anything that I could do for her. She was the red in my world of blue. She could make life beautiful. She deserved everything. I never expected love to feel like this. We weren't the most conventional of couples. We weren't a couple, regardless of how we felt. Really, Anne, not remembering the ball is only a minor setback. I am not going to let go of her. He Who Forsakes the Crown is an audio drama written and produced by Chapter 15 Studios, starring Chara Lin as Sayoko, Shoki as Saren, Eric Smith as Zane DeMonte, and Julia Orsborn as Rillianne Duvon. Thanks for listening. We hope to see you in Season 2. Goddess of War, Maiden of the Battlefield, please do not weep. Let not the mortals cast down upon you. Do not slumber or sleep. May you cast yourself upon my realm as we stare into the void. Take these woes by the helm. I'll be right behind you. Please, take my hand. For I've never felt such as this. I'll follow your command upon this earthy battlefield. For however long they keep us apart, Because the two of us We have the same heart